Why? SB Hyena? You remember. Such are the awkward, smelly, scruffy, scoundrel, lovable, fur-faced, coward extraordinaire. Okay, let me explain a few things. I'm a busy guy. I don't do YouTube full time. I've got a job, okay? I have to commute to work. I've got other hobbies. I like to explore places that inspire me. And that's because my main passion is writing stories, mainly horror fiction or dark fantasy. I do this to scare the pants off my fellow hyenas at a local writers club. But it takes time to perfect, which is why you haven't seen me published yet. There are also a few other things that have happened which I'm not at liberty to discuss right now, so I'll cover those in a later video. So let's get to the main theme of this episode and talk about... Arr! Hiya, asp! <sighs> Seagulls. Yep. Low seaside pests nicking our chips and crapping all over your car. Malicious feathered buggers, aren't they? <laughs> no, 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 no offence. No, 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 no offence, Sal. <laughs> ah, none taken. Can I get back to the video now, please? Ah, sure. This is some footage I shot in Eastbourne back in August. I was on holiday and just it's just a bit of a funny story see in my experience or in the experiences of most people seagulls can be downright vicious especially if you've got food now i was sat on the promenade and i was helping myself to a um, chicken fajita when I was approached by a pair of pesky seagulls who tried a more subtle approach. They tried to make me feel guilty. No. No, you cannot have my chicken burrito. I mean chicken fajita. No. No. <clears throat> no amount of cute squalling is going to persuade me otherwise. <clears throat> I paid for this chicken burrito. A ch chicken fajita, I mean. You're just gonna stand there, aren't you? Yeah. Come on, you. You. Come on. Just say no. Come on, I paid for this, guys. Oh, oh stop that. Oh. You're making me feel guilty now. Yeah, I'm talking to you with the cute squawk. You should be ashamed of yourself. You make me feel guilty. No, no, off the seat. <clears throat> I know what you're doing. I see you. Look, I'm going to drop a few crumbs. It's inevitable. 
You can have flowers. This is going online, mate. You steal this from me, I'll put up a wanted poster. Stop it, come on, come on. I've got to go now, okay? You can have my crumbs. What is it with me and vermin? Why do I attract them? Oh, he loves us really! Never knew he had a soft spot for goals. Spike, give him a kiss. Help! Oh, we ought to take him out to Brighton for the weekend. Shame we missed Pride Week. Oh. <clears throat> this is usually the part where I'd say, oh look, there's a bag of chips over there. Oh, come on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get that. Oh, you want my crisps? <laughs> yum yum. They fell for that? I was only speaking hypothetically. I didn't even have to lie. Well, that just about concludes this episode. I hope to get out a couple more before too long. <laughs> I can only apologise for the long gap between episodes. I'm just so... I'm just so glad that I survived this one without being throttled, walloped, falling off a cliff, or being threatened by carnivorous hyena munching Easter bunnies at all. Until then. Oi! Who's been feeding seagulls? Oh, boll. <coughs> <coughs> Really? Never knew you had a soft spot for goals. Spike, give him a kiss. I'm just imagining Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer every time. <laughs>